I guess it's time for the sidewalk. cut through here. No, we're not in uh, Wynwood. Look at that. Look at that beautiful paint job at the base of this uh, incredible condo. Is that the bridge that's going down right there where the guy was uh, that climbed up it and was clinging on to the top for dear life? I think it might be. Here's the uh, hotel here, the W, which is also a condo. That's Miami River right there, guys. Let's get a close-up shot of it from down here. This is called Miami Circle, aptly enough. nice spot on a nice day guys you've seen me before up on that bridge but never down here there's a restaurant on the other side of that incredible yacht look at the hole through the roof on this condo they like a lot of holes in roofs here I noticed what's up guys have fun Here's a, a placard, they have a few of them, where the river meets the bay. The waterways of South Florida provide a corridor for trade and sanctuary for many species. And they talk about the gentle giant, the manatees. Spotted traps, these have groupers. Sharks and sea turtles. Remind me not to swim in there. Wow, it's windy. How are you? You on vacation? Or? Right. Yeah, what do you think? It's beautiful here, huh? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Everything. Everything. Nice. Where are you guys from? California. California. Yeah. yeah, I noticed there's a lot of people coming here from California now. Yeah. We don't have the mountains though, that's the only thing. Oh, yeah. No mountains, but we got some nice palm trees. Yeah, I got a wind. There the you water. go. There <laughs> you go. Enjoy, guys. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. So that's it, guys. That's Brickle Key right there. That's where I want to go. It used to be known as Claughton Island because Claughton, way back when, was the guy that owned it. And uh, incredible enough, it's man-made. I mean, I guess you could kind of get a sense of that. Um, but 
bought and sold it and uh, they renamed it Brickle Key, appropriately enough. Let's go check out what Clawton gave up. I'll bet Clawton wishes he had that now. All right, that was a long time ago, so. Here's a park back in here. Oh, I can't get through there. Hold on, this guy would know. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hi. Good, I'm good. I want to get to Brickle Key. This is closed off here. How can I get to Brickle Key? Look, look at that. He turns. Oh, right there. Yeah. It'll take me through. Okay. What are you What are you guys doing here? Fixing the uh, walkway or something? It's, uh, the city. Yeah. Project. City project. And the next construction, the building here. They're putting a building here. Yeah. Nice. All right. You think maybe they get tired of putting buildings up down here? Not yet, right? Not yet. There you go. Thank you, brother. Enjoy. Appreciate it. All right, so we got a detour here. All right, remember this park, guys? This is where they have the food trucks. And I ate at a good one here. Okay, so this isn't good, so I guess I gotta go this way. go back up this street guys pretty good view from up here guys Just stopping for a second here to show this to you. That's where we were. Look at all these beautiful buildings here surrounding Brickle. And this is Biscayne Bay. Look at that. There's Rickenbacker Causeway, guys. I walked over that whole thing. That's right, barefoot. All right, let's go, guys. I'm not in a good spot right here. This is really beautiful, guys. Oh, I need what he's got. Here it is, guys. Wow. some incredible vantage points from here, guys. Look at this. Biscayne Bay, Rickenbacker Causeway, attaching to Miami and taking you over to Virginia Key and Key Biscayne on the other side. It's truly a exhilarating view from where I am right now. There's the port terminal right there. So if you get on a cruise ship from Miami, chances are that's where you're going to be.
you got this lovely park behind you here. So people that are fortunate enough to work in some of these beautiful high-rise skyscrapers, uh, they can pack a lunch and come right out here and enjoy it with these incredible sweeping views of Biscayne Bay. Check it out. We have a little tiki hut here and a little beach with white sand. You can see the string of lights hanging there, so I guess they have some parties here. Pretty cool. Check out the rest of the island and then we'll head back over to Brickle and see what's going on over there. Just wanted to stop here along the way and show you guys that um, they have these benches right here that you can take a load off, relax, and enjoy the uh, views from here. I can imagine how lovely this is, like around dusk. It must be beautiful. And not as hot. There's something to be said, not only of the sights, but the sounds of the water lapping up against the seawall here. Anybody got a pillow? Good and upward. Hold on guys, this isn't a sign you see every day in Florida. You see them about alligators, like crocodiles. That is new to me. Have you guys seen any crocodiles? No, I, I know, I thought crocodiles were like from Africa, Asia. I didn't even think we had many of them here. All right, guys, no, uh, no crocodile sightings yet. Beautiful palm trees, though. They're doing some serious work on this condo. That's Bayside on the other side, guys. 
Hold on. This is a great vantage point right here. At the foot of this beautiful statue. Looks like he's been working out. You can see the Ferris wheel that I was once on. That is Bayside, of course. And you can see that little tiki boat going by in front of the yacht. And behind that, Freedom Tower right behind it. There's a little signpost here, and you have a bunch of them on the island. This one will tell you who he is and uh, show you on the map where we are. Look at him sticking his little head up over there. He's got a good little safe spot. You're not a crocodile, are you? This really is beautiful, guys. I mean, I guess it's mostly private. You know, this is this is a spot where people live in these condos. And I, I think there's a hotel here too, if I'm not mistaken. But it's just surrounded by water, obviously being an island. And um, a lot of beauty. I mean, it's, it's not really natural beauty. You know, it's all um, a lot of concrete and, and grass around water and it is man-made but it's certainly beautiful it has a little bit of a uh, Dubai appeal to it if you will in other words it, it, as natural as some of the surroundings are it still kind of has a you know almost kind of like a fantasy feel to it you just know that you just know that you know there was a hand in getting this all made so but it is beautiful and it's still being worked on That's pretty much it, guys. Oh, look at this, it says, this is a bird nesting area. Hopefully the alligators don't get to them. Any birds? I'll tell you what, a lot of great Kodak moments here and some wonderful thumbnails to choose from. If you were so inclined, and there's the hotel I was talking about. It's called the Mandarin Oriental. And it's pretty much the first thing on the island. Thank you.
Next time on The Barefoot Vlogger. Instagram, okay. Instagram friendly. Wow, look at that. That is really beautiful. Yes, that is James Bond. <laughs> Perfect likeness. Hey, even he's, you know, when nature calls. calls. Put some clothes on, will ya? I just want to take a picture. That's some view or what? Now where did I put my 747? <laughs>